on the wing. Where plants and animals grow, people are out of place, but we can enjoy the spectacle of nature. Bergenland stretches from north to south. Its tranquility, the source of an inner harmony. Its narrow boundaries have made it a land of small units, but Bergenland also has its treasures. One of the most sumptuous is Baroque Halptern Castle. A 
an atmosphere of village intimacy in an idyllic rural setting, suddenly interrupted by massive symbols of determined defense. Burgenland's history gave it the function of a border fortress in centuries of invasions by armies from the east. The iron tools of war in documentary exhibits remind us of victorious battles against the Turks and some local folk customs tell the same story. This is Neckenmarkt in central Burgenland. History lives on in the pride of its citizens. A softly rolling chain of hills is crowned by impressive manifestos in stone. Castles like Stachlining and Lockenau's have given Burgenland many of its traditions and legends. As awesome as these bulwarks are the names of former ruling families. Athene, Nedesti, Erudi, Esterhazy. Everywhere they're reminders of a history shared with Western Hungary and of the proximity of disputed borders. A history which in the end blended sharp contrasts into a diversity of culture, lifestyle and religion. Eichenstadt, hometown and workplace of the great composer Josef Haydn, with the twin stimulants of middle-class sedateness and Baroque joy of life. Burgenland's capital town has managed to preserve not only its optical appearance, but also its dignified yet cheerful note. Although this miniature metropolis is Burgenland's administrative, educational, and economic nerve center, it's never denied its ties with the rural surroundings. The personal touch at the marketplace and in pedestrian zones is one of Burgenland's amiable features. Esterhazy Castle, the jewel in the crown of a multicultural land, for centuries the seat of a Hungarian aristocratic family loyal to Austria's ruling house of Habsburg. Today, the castle is Burgenland's cultural showcase and a musical workshop for experienced and budding masters. The great Yehudi Menuhin at work with young hopefuls.
In the castle's beautifully restored rooms, an annual festival pays tribute to the Esterhazy court music director, Joseph Haydn. A more modest bow to a son of the village of Riding, Franz Liszt, born in 1811, in what was then Western Hungary, set out from here to gain renown as a megastar of his time. A lively scene from a Burgenland summer specialty, the lake stage at Murbisch, where operetta is alive and well to the delight of thousands of fans. Sociability calls the tune. A Burgenland town wouldn't be complete without its music. A strong Croatian influence adds to Burgenland's diversity. A 450-year-old heritage lives on in today's youth. Picturesque Tamburitsa Ensemble. <laughs> Restoration and revitalization. A showplace for culture traditional or avant-garde. <laughs> Away from tourist turbulence, experienced hands work with one of Lake Noisettle's fringe products, the reeds. Binding this unruly material for roofing bundles is a craft handed down from generation to generation. interpreted as slipshod. But there's nothing slipshod about production methods like these, coupled with a sense of innovative design.
owes one branch of its tourist industry to the thermal fault line that has favored the province with health-giving springs. As long ago as the monarchy, Bad Tatzmansdorf, the best-known Burgenland spa attracted people in search of mental and physical recreation. It's been carefully modernized and expanded many times over. The fairway is free for a young combination, golf and thermal springs. The healing powers of nature are just right for rehabilitation, for general fitness and reviving a zest for life. A quality offer for all ages, all seasons. Golf is booming, but it's not yet a mass sport. Teaching methods are those of world-renowned golf schools. When laying out the course in these hills, nature was the chief architect. In Donnerskirchen, to the north, nearby Lake Neusiedl lends a special atmosphere. You could call it golfing in the reeds, and word of it is getting around the international tournament circuit. Word is also getting around about this spot in the southern town of Heiligenbronn. In cellars and pressing houses of protected monument status, a very special kind of grape juice is stored. They call it Uhudler, and permission to sell it in public was granted just a few years ago. <laughs> this is the center of the Uhudler region. It's been growing here for a hundred years, and I think you'll like it. A cheerful part of the world, perhaps best seen aboard a bicycle, a means of transportation for which Burgenland has reserved more than 5,000 kilometers of routes. One of these biking tours passes through the red wine region of central Burgenland. The loamy soil is especially advantageous for the type of grape known as Blaufrankisch, dark and heavy. Hundreds of families cultivate Blaufrankisch, taking great care over its color, purity, and taste. Like the harvest, marketing and quality control of Blaufrankisch is mostly a joint effort. In this way, a whole region maintains the high standard of a fine wine. Honors won by top products are the reward for hard, painstaking work. Wine, a fruit of the earth that has helped shape Burgenland's way of life for centuries. Rust, a town whose efforts at architectural preservation are recognized throughout Europe. Once upon a time, Roost got its city charter in exchange for 500 buckets of especially good wine. The region's top brands have a worldwide reputation, and so do its vintners, who've won all the prizes there are to give. It's only logical that the free city of Roost is home to Austria's wine academy, 
an institute for vintners learning their art and for inquisitive visitors. Presenting a young Bla Frankish. The Töne, the Farbtöne from Blass Rosa bis to a satten Rubin reichen können. Bei einem jungen Blau Frankish is sicher ein typisches Merkmal die Note nach Kirschen. The School of Quality. You can even gain a Master of Wine degree here, but only after years of study and proof of success. There are no academic degrees involved, but the self-set standards are high in the islands of hot cuisine that are developing in Burgenland. Meticulous preparation of meticulously chosen products. Only the best is good enough to provide the basis of appetite-making creations. Regional cooking is a tradition in harmony with new originality elegantly served. Enjoying the good things of life is an important part of the Burgenland philosophy. A feast for the eye out of doors. Stopovers by feathered families on international flights. Their departure tells us winter is on its way. Bringing a dramatic change to the expansive surface of Lake Neusiedl. It's time for nature to gather its strength in quiet preparation for a new cycle of the seasons, which again will clothe this countryside of Burgenland with a display of splendor and diversity.